Hello everyone, good evening, you're watching the Rathcore Gaming Channel, I'm your host, Robert Rath, and this is the Rathcore Original Program, Deep Thoughts. Okay, tonight's topic is one that I feel very strongly about ending. I am, of course, speaking about the topic of racism. Now, I was raised and taught that racism is wrong, plain and simple, and I have always supported that fact ever since I was old enough to understand just how evil and horrible racism is. In my opinion, there is never a need for racism or hatred toward anyone in this world for pointless reasons such as skin color. Now, I know that we all have enemies, but the act of singling out one race or group of people and choosing to inflict pain onto them or say horrible and hurtful things, there's no reason for that kind of abuse. My folks always told me when I was growing up, Robert, you treat others the same way that you wish to be treated and always remember that it does not matter what color your skin is everyone on earth deserves to be treated fairly and respectfully once i heard that i could feel it in my heart that it was fact and that it was truth and more to the point that is how it should be however sadly that is not the truth in many parts of the world i will tell you what i do believe though however i believe that every single human life matters and is sacred Every one of us has loved ones that care for us and wait for us to come home safely. And for the most part, we're all just trying to live a good and peaceful life. Now, as I grew older and began attending high school, I made some friends, but I made a whole lot more enemies. Why, I really don't know. I just got picked on a lot at school, and for the most part, I was able to defend myself during physical altercations with other students, which there were not many of those because I didn't go looking for fights. But then the day came that someone decided to stick up for me when three bullies wanted to push me around. I was in line, and my class and I were leaving the gym class, and three white guys who were always harassing me and making fun of me, just a couple bully punks, well, they decided they were going to sneak up and try to jump me. Now, the head bully crept up behind me and shoved me down, and I fell to the floor, and once I got up and turned around, I was watching this seven-foot-tall classmate of mine, we'll call him Kevin, Kevin picked up this head bully and slammed him into a nearby trash can, then proceeded to tell the three of them to leave me the hell alone. That seven foot tall man who helped me that day is now one of my closest friends. Even though we don't talk much because we're both busy and we kind of live not too far apart, but far enough, and we remain friends. Now, let me tell you something. He did not have to help me that day the way that he chose to. He did not care that he was black and that I was white. And that is the way everyone should be. Some of the greatest people I've ever met in my life are African Americans. I, I know African Americans, I know Jews, I know Russians, I know a few Germans, I know Polish people. And you know why I know so many different walks of life? Because I'm not a racist. And I don't judge people on superficial things like race, religion, creed, sex, gender, orientation, identity. None of that, because I think it's ridiculous, and it truly does break my heart that people can mistreat others and treat people so poorly because of something so damn stupid and minuscule as skin color. Now, some people would say that slavery was ages ago and should be forgotten, but I say hell no. We do need to remember those horrible events that occurred so that we can ensure that they will never happen again. And we also need to ensure that each and every American, hell, each and every human being deserves to be treated with some level of kindness and respect. I mean, unless they have done something truly horrible that they deserve to be mistreated or imprisoned, like, for example, murder or serious crimes. But, you know, but I'm sure that you all understand where I'm coming from here. I'm sorry, but to me, the thought of owning another human being, another person, as if they are property is disgusting and unthinkable. And I would never even imagine of enslaving another human being. It is inhuman, and there's no other way to describe it. In my personal opinion, those people who are racist, <coughs> excuse me, they just have so much hate in their hearts and in their minds that they just need to hate everyone around them because their lives are miserable and they blame African Americans or Jews or whites or Europeans or some other group of people for no other reason than to be hateful and so that they can feel superior to other people. What I say to that is please grow the fuck up and just live in peace and treat others with the same respect and kindness that you wish to receive from others. And if you're incapable and you can't do that, 
Just please, mind your own business, keep your negative opinions to yourself, and live your own damn life, and stop trying to destroy everyone else's. And I guess I've said what I needed to say, so I think that about does it for this episode. Please be sure to like and subscribe, turning on all notifications for both of our channels, Rathco Gaming, as well as Rathco Outdoors. Please feel free to share your comments and input below, because I would love to get everyone's opinion on today's topic. And until next time, thank you all for all of your support, and I'll see you on the flip side. And, again, please remember that every living human being and creature on this planet is capable of feeling pain. Just remember that, and try to treat others with the same respect and kindness that you wish to receive. Bless one and all, have a wonderful evening, stay safe out there, and thanks for watching. Thanks for all your support. If anyone would like to donate to my cause and to the Rathco Corporation, Please feel free to do so. I have a link to my PayPal site on the homepage of my Wrathful Gaming channel page. Again, thank you all. Whether you donate or not holds no impact on how I see you. You are all my friends. You are all my supporters, and I love all you guys. You're awesome. I love you in a platonic way, not in a Kathy Bates with a sledgehammer way. <laughs> I'm out.